We are back at it with some more MX bikes, and in this one, we are testing out the YZ450. I've only heard really good things about this. I do have a setup by the boy Doug, uh, which was mentioned in last or yesterday's video, right? Um, so I'll show the setup and everything at the very end of the video, uh, but I'm hoping that it's good. It's another sand track. We're at Finland MXGP, uh, which we were racing on this track last night a little bit, and honestly, I really like it except when the starts go like that um that's not not the best way to start the start the race but it's all right we're gonna try to work our way through the pack <laughs> that wasn't smart that wasn't good uh it's okay it's all right uh let's see what we can do here it's a five minute race we're basically dead last oh god oh god i'm so glad Krusty went over me because I would have landed he would have landed right on me as I mentioned in yesterday's video I love sand tracks now this wasn't one of my favorite sand tracks I'll say that but um oh god I was trying to miss that guy I think I'd like uh Lommel and what was the other one on MXGP circuit um I totally forgot what the other one was but I think I like those more than this one Holy crap, I wasn't hitting that like that yesterday. I know that Doc just posted a video talking about how good the YZ250 is. Um, but I don't know if he mentioned anything in the 450 category. Uh, and I know that a lot of people are talking to me about, you got to try the YZ, you got to try the YZ. And I've actually been hearing things about it in Supercross which uh surprisingly like i haven't really touched it too much in supercross uh we've been on like the fantic and whether that was like the ktm how does that happen right there how does how does how does this happen how does that even uh, uh, okay um that was unfortunate we were kind of making our way through the pack a little bit but yeah i've heard only good things about it so i don't want to hit i don't want to mess up Huey there my bad dog but yeah, haven't really tested it out for outdoors. Uh, I did a little bit. Let me let me rephrase that. I did a little bit, uh, but nothing like crazy. Um, so I don't know too too much about how good it can be. There is a a lot of guys there, but we got to test for uh, MXGP. You know, I'm like rambling on right now because I'm trying to think and race at the same time. But we gotta we're trying to find the best bike for MXGP, which is coming up. Preseason races on Monday, um, so I'm trying to figure out which bike I want to use. Uh, right now, I think it might be the Husky, just of how good it was yesterday. Uh, but that could change overnight, you know what I mean? That could change literally in an instant. Um, say we like the Yamaha. Um, say we find a really good setup for it and we just vibe with it, you know? Um, anything is anything can happen, you know? Which is the crazy part about this game is like, one day you're on the Husky, next day you're on the Honda. You know, not necessarily the Honda because the Honda is kind of bad. But next day you're on like the Fantic or something, you know what I mean? Um... So I think it should be it should be fun. Just we're testing out everything, kind of just figuring out what we want, and we're trying to figure out which bike is the best. That guy, I don't know if he just hit that guy's bike. We're also testing out different setups too. Like we're not just sticking on to one setup. We've been testing out everybody's setup trying to just find a good flow um because one setup might work for me but the, it might not work for anybody else you know um so i'm trying to just figure out what we want to run and hopefully we can do some good qualifying uh good racing and stuff like that i feel like just a little bit more practice and we're, we'll be fine but as you guys know this this game is literally you need to keep on practicing you need to keep on getting better because everybody else is doing the same thing you know um, which, which is a good thing. Actually, I've like really enjoying my time playing right now. So this is a crazy wall jump. KTM's nice, man. Gooey's making that thing work. I think like the KTM and Husky are kind of interchangeable. I think that even with Supercross, 
um, in my opinion. I think it's like really just interchangeable. I think for outdoors, it's just going to be depending on how you have your setup. Because I feel like even with even with like the, the Husky KTM, it's basically the same bike. I was looking up like the miles per hour for it and it was literally the same. So I feel like you can potentially just have the same setup for your Husky on the KTM and it would be totally fine. But I don't know. I feel like the other bike, so you gotta like kind of manipulate it to how you like. Oh, I'm overshooting this. Okay, off the track. Yep, we're just going around it. Screw it. And that like instance, like there's no point of going back on the track because it's just, it just doesn't work. You're just gonna slow down even more, you know? So far, I like, so far I like the, I like the YZ. I mean, when you guys are watching this, how does it look? You know, like that's kind of a, a big factor too. Does it like look stable? Does it look, because like I can ride it and it can look potentially great, but I'm just not vibing with it. But like, I don't know. I think Pax is also trying out different bikes because yesterday he was on the, the KTM 250 and now he's on the Honda 250. He's been grinding, bro. Shout out to Pax, man. He actually, uh, another person that recommended me to try the YZ 450. And here we are, you know, just grinding a little bit. I also want to say thank you guys so much for the love on all of the videos recently. Um, especially the ones where we didn't have any racing going on, you know, because um, the servers were down to stuff. Those videos did pretty well, so I was happy about it. So I just want to say thank you guys for that. Oh, God. Off the track. That's fine. It's another thing where you just, you just got to go through outside of the track sometimes, you know. And if, in the comment section below too, let me know which bike you guys are feeling like is the best outdoors. I know Doc, like I mentioned, Doc was posting about the YZ250, but what about 450s? Like, who? What is everybody's opinion? Like, we raced the we raced the Husky all day yesterday, and that was a really good, really good time. And now we're on the YZ. I'm gonna do the YZ pretty much all day today. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about like another bike that we should test out. You know. So I think like even like I think we can make even like the Honda feel pretty good, you know. That's my opinion. I think we could. But is it going to be better than like say uh say like a fant or not a fantic, say like a, a KTM or Husky, you know what I mean? Like is it gonna be better than those guys or those bikes? I just don't see it, but it potentially could be better like in the E road, which is a huge factor, huge, huge factor in this. Because when the track goes for 30 minutes, you know, I mean, it's going to be tough. Because, like, I know for a fact, like, everybody's been telling me the Fantic is horrible in E-Road. You know? And that's one of the reasons why they don't use it in Supercross. And that's why everybody's kind of been using, like, the, uh, the KTM and Supercross and stuff like that. But is it going to be a factor outdoors as well? Resurrected over here, dude, is literally glitching. He's on the gas gas. Is that a gas gas 250? I gotta look. I jumped away too either. I don't know. Four, this YZ feels pretty good. The setup that Doug has is pretty freaking good. You gotta kind of have your front end a little bit. Um, you don't want to like nose dive, similar to that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> that would be really, really bad. But yeah, he likes to run his uh, front end kind of stiff, which I kind of like my front end a little bit softer. But hey, first race on. Can't complain on the YZ. I'm gonna try a couple things. All right, race number two on Finland MXGP right now. And I switched up the suspension just a tiny bit, actually quite a bit. Um, I just wanna see, we're testing it out, you know? So I wanna see if this feels a little bit better. And I gotta take it with a grain of salt also because it is in sand. So it's gonna probably feel different compared to 
say like an actual dry track or like a, a like a normal track not sand i guess not not necessarily dry but just normal um That guy just sent it. Breezy just sent it. And Breezy and him just went absolutely... What the heck? That's a little bit of E-Road there. I'm still trying to also get used to uh, my settings for outdoors. Haven't figured that out. Because, like, I have the super... My settings... When I say settings, I mean like my direct lean and stuff like that because I have it more towards Supercross and I feel like you can change it a little bit more friendlier for outdoors. Um, that's just my opinion. But I don't know if I want to because maybe I don't want to change it and have two different settings for like each outdoor and Supercross and just kind of get used to uh, just one in general. I don't really know, but... And I will, at the very end of this, uh, I'll show you both setups and kind of see what you guys think and see if you guys want to try them out and see what you guys feel. Holy shit, did not mean to jump over that. That's right, though. We got Cam in front of us, man. Shout out to the boy Cam. He's on his YouTube grind right now. If you guys didn't know, we made a video with him uh last week it was like i think we posted it saturday or something but uh he's on his he's been grinding youtube and so i definitely would like for you guys to go check out his stuff i think he's running the safe moto daddy right now um but definitely go check out his stuff he's been grinding it that was a horrible horrible ball jump i gotta learn to do that one better cam is flying The setup feels a little bit more plush for my liking. And I, li I like to run my suspension soft. I kind of determined that yesterday. That I just like my suspension a little bit softer on the rear and front. Um, I think it's just personal preference, man. Because I know a bunch of people like theirs stiff. But I just never, I never gel with it. I think it's just my riding style. Also helps the tracks not as eroded so maybe the bike was pretty bad in erode i really don't know that's one of the another like it's hard for me to test like because obviously one i don't really do too much like riding in the erode because one uh the race is usually track gets reset maybe this week when i'm in kazi's lobby and stuff testing and stuff we can maybe have the erode not not or i guess have the track not reset i think that will help tremendously but um but also just oh god but also i don't really make it to the main event so i never know how the e-road feels which is kind of a a downer right it's like everybody was saying like yeah they rode the fantic one race and then they hated it because of the e-road so maybe the yamaha feels kind of the same way I know there's an outside line here, but I'm just, I'm too nervous to take this line. You can like jump across to the inside. I'm just, I'm never, I was never good at it in the first place. Never good at it now. I messed this section up. Whew. Gotta stick, we gotta stick with James. Is this, I'm pretty, yeah, this is James. Gotta stick with the boy. He's quick, too. I don't want to make too many mistakes, you know? Like, trying to just stay with him. Just ride my race, you know? That's another thing I gotta learn for outdoors, man. These guys are gonna be hella fast. 
I just got to put a lap down that would potentially get me to qualify, but also just like if I get to the race, don't worry about like trying to, it's hard to say, like I was saying this about MXGP or I guess the MX, the nations, it was just riding my own race because I wasn't like the fastest yet, you know, but it's, it's hard not to try to like uh, battle with people when you know that like you're not, you're obviously not there, but you're like, you want to be there. So it's hard not to try to overdo everything. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? But that's how I'm thinking. And it's really hard not to like override. See, watch his line right here. He like jumps over. Okay, we kind of did it. I mean, it's not like crazy fat. I mean, it's much faster than the lines that we were taking. But it's not like it's going to do or die break situation. You know what I mean? One thing too, everybody that's watching this, try use less brakes on sand. That's one thing I would recommend. Just try to flow. Even if you got to slow down, don't touch your brakes. Just slow down. That will help tremendously with like just the flow of the track and just like your flow overall will just help tremendously. Because once you start hitting your brakes, everything kind of just goes downhill. That's kind of even with motocross and super, or I guess supercross, not motocross, but supercross too. As soon as you start hitting your brakes, I mean, it's kind of like, it's it's kind of chalking you that's one thing i still gotta practice and learn i'm not the greatest at it I mean, this YZ setup feels kind of freaking good, bro. I don't, I don't know what you guys think about it. Like, bro, this kind of feels really good. Get over it. We only got a few more corners left. We got it. We got to just hold pace. We don't. We don't need to overdo anything. Just hold pace. We be chilling. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Hey, that was a good race. Good show of this Yamaha too. I mean. It's freaking crack, dude. This this bike is really, really good. So in the first race, I was using the boy Doug setup, and this is what we have. So this is the first tab. You guys can pause it. I'm um, kind of stock, basically, with every bike that I've been rocking right now. Uh, suspension, here is what we have compared to default. Uh, I don't have my controller overlay, so it doesn't screw you guys over this time. That is my fault. I didn't even recognize that. Um, yeah, so pause this. Try it out. Drivetrain, he has 1350. And then others, it's 24, 10, 6, 140. Definitely try it out. Let me know what you guys think about this setup. That was in the first race. In the second race, this is what I was working with. And honestly, it felt it felt really good. And so did Doug's. So I don't really know. I, the first race, I got a horrible start. And I was kind of going through the pack. But just try both of them out. Let me know what you guys think. We did a little bit more work on this one compared to Doug's. Um, you, or I guess, yeah, a little bit different. Uh, but here is compared to default. Uh, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, drivetrain. We went with 1450. A little bit different. Um, it felt fine though. So just try it, you know? So for others, this is where I kind of changed it up a little bit more than Doug's. Uh, I went with 25, 9, 6, and 144. This is compared to default, but this is what Doug had. He had 24, 10, 6, and 140. 
um so it's a little bit different just test it out let me know what you guys think i think both of them are pretty good to be honest uh especially for the yz we were on a sand track that could play a factor i'm gonna test it out a little bit more on like say the other tracks see if they like are a little bit better uh here or there but um that's what we're rocking with right now uh big shout out to cam for hosting the lobby i guess ace moto daddy but definitely let me know what you guys think about these setups in the comments below if you guys tested them out uh, i would love for you guys to uh let me know so thank you guys so much for the love on these videos and we'll catch you guys back here in tomorrow's video i'm out peace